So this question is a diagram question, right? Any question that provides some visual data or visual input, I call a diagram question or categorize as a diagram question. We specifically have a table provided here. So as soon as I see a diagram, a table, a graph, a chart, whatever it may be, I take a look at, you know, well, what's the information? How is it organized um, visually? So we have a title here, which is customer purchases at a gas station. We have a row for gasoline purchase, a row for gasoline not purchased, columns for beverage purchased and beverage not purchased, as well as some totals here. So I think I understand. One way I try to make sure I understand is something I call the pinpoint method. So if I circle this 15, right, what does that 15 mean? Um, I assume, because this is customer purchases, that there are 15 customers that do not purchase gas and do not purchase beverages, which means they're purchasing something else or going to the bathroom, who knows. But those that 15 number lines up with those two categories. Those people are not gasoline purchasers and they're not beverage purchasers. So using that method, the pinpoint method, typically gets me to the point where it's like, okay, I'm pretty certain I understand how this is organized. Now let me look at the question. On Tuesday, a local gas station had 135 customers. The table above summarizes whether or not the customers on Tuesday purchased gasoline, a beverage, both or neither. Based on the data in the table, what is the probability, right? So again, every time we see this word probability, I want you to think fraction with the numerator being what I want and the denominator being total. Or I, sometimes I say what I have, okay? So what is the probability that a gas station customer selected at random on that day did not purchase gasoline? Okay, so that's the what I want. I want to find a customer who did not purchase gasoline. So how many customers did not purchase gasoline? So we go to the gasoline not purchased row. We see that 35 of them did not purchase gasoline, but did purchase a beverage. 15 of them did not purchase gasoline, but did not purchase a beverage. But altogether, there are 50 total customers that did not purchase gasoline. So that's what I want. That's my numerator. Now, what do I have? Well, I have 135 because, again, we're choosing a customer at random out of the total 135 customers that came in. Right? The question tells us 135 customers came in on Tuesday. So there is... Um, my probability, 50 divided by 100 over 35, and therefore the correct answer here is choice 